greeting guys so welcome back so today we will be seeing spacy layout okay how we can practically apply this one with our pdf files so pdf for like the most um, frequent file system that we use in our daily life so paper is scanned documents are like sent and received as pdf and they are often like kept as a archival copy so unfortunately processing pdf is hard like uh, in this tutorial we will be discussing a new modular workflow for converting pdfs on similar documents to structured data and show how to build end-to-end -end document understanding and information extraction pipelines for industry use cases so with more powerful uh, visual uh, language models which appears which is plm so it's like finally become viable to like complete many end-to-end -end tasks using pdf as an input like question answering or more classical information extraction so this makes it tempting to consider pdf processing solved and uh, treat pdf documents like yet another data type so i have like even heard from people now converting plain text to pdfs like because their ai powered tools of choice was designed for pdfs so a practical implementation is spacy and docking so which is developed by IBM Research, Docling offers a robust pipeline for document processing, combining file passing, layout analysis, optical character recognition, OCR, table structure recognition, and post-processing into a unified structured format. The team behind Docling has also trained custom models for layout analysis and table recognition and enhancing its capabilities. So basically, Docling integrates uh, seamlessly with the SPACI, with, uh, which is uh, built around the structured doc object, a container for like linguistic annotations that always maintains a direct link to the original document. So this synergy provides a powerful solution for transforming unstructured document input into clean, structured, AI-ready data. So I have already prepared the notebook uh, for the hands-on. So for to like run this notebook, we have to install Spacy layout. So to do that, we install Spacy layout. Let me install it. So let me restart the session once we install the package. And the next step is like uh, we will be testing it with a test PDF. So for that, we can drag and drop here. So while it was uploading, let, let's explore the PDF what we have in it. So basically the test PDF that we will be using is the transformer paper. So basically do have like a few text images and then uh, even tables as well, you see. So we will be feeding this to the spacy layout and let's see how it works. So now it's done, okay, the upload is complete. And then uh, SPACI layout basically extends the SPACI with the document processing capabilities for PDFs, Word documents, and also for the other formats and output clean text-based data in a structured format. So document and section layout features are like accessible via the layout extension attribute and can be serialized in an efficient binary format. So for the first time we can, Use this passy blank with a language which is English for in our case as our document is in English. And then uh, we'll be uh, loading the class spacey layout uh, with this variable and we get our layout. Once we have our layout, we have to process the document and create the spacy doc object. Uh, for to do that, we have to have the path of our document. So it's already here, content is PDF. And once we have the doc, we can do the text-based content of uh, the document extraction using doc.text. And uh, we can also um, extract the layout, including the pages and page size. And uh, we can also do the, the tables in the document and their extraction data as well. And then finally, we can also um, extract the markdown representation of the document. So let's try to compile this for the first time.
it may take few seconds to complete. You see behind the scene, uh, it just um, tried to download the ECUCR or the OCR path. Now let's just visualize only the text and then layout and table separately. Let's do that from here. We hide this. Let's execute this to get only the text. So these are the text which are present in the document. Let me hide it as well. Now let's see the layout information. So layer layout information is in the document format and then we do have like page number and uh, height and width of the page so like that we do have like around uh, 16 pages and then let's extract the table so it just hold the placeholder here maybe in later stage let's see how we can extract the text which are inside the table as well and then uh, try to print the markdown so again uh, markdown which just prints all the text as it just gives the same output as dog dot text Okay, so it's working cool. Now again, we can extract the layout span for different section in our document as well. But to do that, we can do for span, which is in doc dot spans. Uh, we have to access the layout uh, element, and from there we can print like the text, and then where the section is starting, and then where it is ending, and then what is the start character, and then what is the end character as well. So um, section type here typically. Uh, like text or title or subheaders to access these kind of information you can do like span dot labels and to access the um, layout features of the section so including the bounding box uh, you can use span dot layout and also the for to access the closest uh, heading to the span uh, you can do like span dot heading so for example here if you see it just access the um, span text and then start and end character and then uh, the label which is page header and then layout information like the bounding box xy and then with height and the page number as well and now we have no heading here so it just gives only none so like this uh, it just extract for all the sections which are available in the document so if you want to like um, do this uh, in a pipeline with multiple pdfs so for example if you have multiple pdfs you can put it in a list like and then uh, we can uh, do the layout dot pipe with all this path to the pdfs we can print out its layout its span informations and also the um, text and then markdown uh, extractions of the document so in this way you can test this pc layout with the pdf so now working with table data so tables present a unique challenge while they represent the structured information we strive for their interpretation often like depends on the surrounding document context so even human can struggle with interpreting figures correctly or presenting the data in a meaningful way so careful processing is essential here so table former architecture so if you see the table former model which is developed by docklink team specialized in recognizing the table structure within the documents by Nozer and the team. In 2022, it was released. So Docling integrates this capability with SPACI layout, where tables are represented through layout spans and accessible via the doc.tables shortcut, okay? So each table reminds the anchor to like the original document text, but also being available as the kind of data frame, which is versatile for like, manipulation and to do like some data analysis efficiently docklang uses the table former for a model which is developed by its team and tables are like integrated into space layout we are the layout spans and the shortcut dot, dot tables as we see here so each table is like anchored into the original document text and also accessible as a pandas data frame so a convenient data structure for like storing and manipulating your data as i said earlier so for to extract the tables, let's do like uh, we can go one by one uh, table which is inside doc.tables and then try to uh, just uh, get the um, 
token position and then bounding box and then layout information of the table and then also we will be uh, getting the contents of the table as well so for to do that just run so for example we have this uh, this table let me open we have layer type complexity per layer and sequential information and maximum path length so this is the same table which is extracted here and an important consideration is like how to represent the table or data in the document text that is like doc dot text for example so which is like plain unicode that's tokenized and then used by further components in the spacy processing uh, pipeline for predict predictions like uh, linguistic attributes named entities and then text categories so the doc object can also be passed into the pre-trained NLP pipeline which means like you can easily apply your components for linguistic analysis deemed entity recognition and then also rule based matching or anything else you can do with SPACI so so this lets you like treat the document contents like any other text and the fact that it originally came from a PDF becomes secondary so by factoring out the document conversion like you can only need uh, to rely on the computationally expensive conversion during the pre-processing the information extraction itself is performed by robust tried and uh, tested nlp techniques and those components can be developed evaluated and improved independently so an important consideration is how to like represent the table or data in the document text that is doc dot text so which is plain unicode that's tokenized and uh, then used by further components in the spacy pre-processing pipeline for predictions like uh, linguistic attributes named entities and then text categories so by default a placeholder table is used as we saw earlier here so but this can be customized via callback function that receives the data frame as input and returns its textual representation as you see here you can use this block of code to do that so this offers like many opportunities for like pre-processing table data to make it easier for a model to be to extract the information so one hypothesis uh, we have want to test is uh, whether we can achieve better results by using the large language models to refresh the table data as natural language which is like sentence so it becomes like more accessible for like tasks like question answering or classification nowadays so if you see like end-to-end -end information extraction with a workflow for extracting pdf contents as structured doc objects and then we can now choose from an array of nlp techniques components and create and fire pipelines and also fine-tune our own specific business use cases we can also take advantage of like llms and other models to automate the data creations and use a human in loop distillation to produce like smaller faster and fully private task specific components so basically transfer learning which is using the knowledge learned from the different task which is like language models objective like predicting the next words to improve the generalization of another okay so transfer learning is a robust and a very scalable method to like improve performance with examples specific to your use case and even just a few hundred task specific examples can make a meaningful impact so but these examples need to be of like high quality and apply the label uh, schemes consistently so in any case like you will always want to a stable evolution as a rule of thumb so basically if you see like uh, 10 samples per significant figures to avoid like reporting meaningless precision so like using models as judge can improve you uh, help a helpful estimation but it won't like replace testing your system against questions that you know the answer to so that's it for today so i hope like this tutorial was helpful and please do let me know your questions in the comment section below and uh, please do subscribe to our channel in the way you'll be get notified whenever i upload a new video or tutorial until then this is abunia bye for now thanks for watching